So I'm going to show you uh, this thing that I did here. And this is actually really simple to do. Um, all I had to do was connect this leap motion here and uh, install the drivers as instructed. Uh, this has just been brand new booted right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to And then, oh, I don't want y'all seeing me type the password. <laughs> Just a sec. Okay, that should work. There we go. So the server started. Um, we've got the leap motion in, in action here. All I gotta do is bring up Chrome. and open up this web page I created. I mean, this is running straight from disk. I'll hit F11 to put us into um, full screen. Now, this should, hold up. Ah, the demo gods are not in my favor right now. Let's get out of that and make sure Okay, Let's reboot, reload this. Maybe the firmware needed to be detected. We'll reload F11 it. <laughs> okay, so essentially this leap motion device right there can pick up my two fingers. It actually picks up my entire hands, um, but I throw out all the data except for the fingers. And as you can see, I'm behind the leap motion right now. You can't actually see where my hand is. Um, I'm behind the leap motion. If I push in, if I push in past the zero plane on Z, it activates the sounds. And so we demonstrate that for the kids. Um, it's called our hands off, hands on soundboard. Normally what I do is I have a monitor out there and I have the, uh, the leap motion in front of the monitor. And then I'm not, uh, I've got the laptop closed and sort of hidden away behind things. That way the kids, their, their first inclination is to try and touch a keyboard or to try and touch something. When there's nothing for them to touch, they're more amenable to trying this, put your hand over that, and then they get, and you, they can see the dot tracking their finger. And then it's like, push your finger in. And then, it, then, it, then they, then get, they it. get it, then they get it, they've got it immediately. And this is something that's really easy to build. I built it in JavaScript in the browser. This is Chrome, as you saw. Um, it just uses the Leap Motion SDK and the Leap Motion drivers that are really easy to install on Linux or Windows or whatever. So this is a this is the touchless soundboard that I use for Seattle Coder Dojo demos out on out at events and stuff. That's the video.